What's going on everybody? Robinson DUP. I get this question a lot and this is just going to be my opinion on the matter. Should you bulk or should you cut? Um, I get a lot of questions like I'm 195 pounds, I'm 6 feet tall, I feel like I need to hit 200 pounds before I start a cut. Should I cut? Should I continue to bulk? What should I do? Or I'm skinny fat, should I bulk? Should I cut? What should I do? Or I'm overweight, should I bulk or should I cut? What should I do? So I'm going to try to break it down as best as I can. If you're someone who is severely overweight and would be considered obese, my recommendation is one, make sure you're working with your doctor and probably a nutritionist. And I would suggest becoming physically active, whether it's just you know walking, uh, going on a treadmill, doing some sort of cardiovascular exercise, and maybe even doing um, you know just getting mobile and drop a lot of the weight. There's no point of you bulking or trying to um, add muscle mass when you're carrying a lot of extra weight. Now, could you gain muscle on the way down? Absolutely, for sure. There's no issues uh, with that whatsoever. So if you're obese, my suggestion is cut. Now, if you're on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you're somebody who is skinny fat, where you're really thin up top and may have a little bit of a belly, my recommendation to you is you're going to have to make a commitment one way or another. Would you rather drop maybe 10 pounds or so or 15 pounds and do a mini cut? You could. But once again, all this is going to come down to understanding what your current caloric intake is. Because if you're someone who is already on the lowest end or a lower end of the caloric intake, so let's say you're eating 1,200, 1,500 calories, but then you have these moments where you're overdosing on calories and that's what's causing you to gain that little bit of a belly, you're going to need to get your nutrition in line um, regardless because you're not going to be able to cut from that point. Make sense? You don't have anything to cut from, so for you to lose weight is going to be extremely difficult since you're already not eating enough calories as it is, and you've already caused a metabolic adaptation. Now, my suggestion is if you're skinny fat, get your nutrition in line, understand what your caloric intake is, and start to work on increasing your metabolic capacity, as well as to start to hit those weights and go on a proper bulk very slowly. Don't rush into it, because if you're already having a metabolic adaptation, let's say you're eating 1,500 calories and you jack up to 2,200 calories, you may put weight on a little faster than you want, None of a lot of which is not going to be muscle. So that's that. If you're in between, if you're somebody who's around like 15 to 16% body fat, actually around 15 to 16% body fat, not I think I am and you're not. I hate people that start quoting percentages of body fat and really have no idea what their body fat level is. I would find out what your body fat level actually is. Once again, I would look at your nutrition, I would look at your caloric intake and make sure that you have enough calories in that if you decide to make a cut at that point that you're going to have calories to cut from which is going to allow you to get the weight loss that you want. On the other hand, if your caloric intake is relatively decent and you still want to add maybe a couple extra pounds of muscle over a six to eight month span, you could therefore increase your over caloric your calorie intake very slowly um, and see how your metabolism and your body handles it where you may be able to add a little bit more of lean muscle mass or lean body mass over body fat if you do it properly. But if you're in that range of that like 15% or a little bit over, it's entirely up to you which direction you decide to go. However, stop obsessing over what number you need to hit on a bulk because that will set you up to add a lot of extra body fat for no apparent reason. I keep seeing this thing of, I need to hit this number. And I'm like, but why? Because I need to hit it. Why? And they never have an answer. They think by hitting this magical number, somehow all they're doing is adding on extra muscle, which is usually not the case. Most people aren't that accurate, are far off on their judgment, end up putting a lot of extra body fat, that when they end up trimming it off, they don't know what the difference was anyway. Now, in the instance of a cut, I also see this. People are afraid to lose strength. Now, depending on the length of the cut, you may actually maintain your strength. You may even actually get a little bit stronger. But if you're in an extended cut, for like a bodybuilder for an extended period of time, and your calories are starting to get extremely low, as well as your carbs are starting to come down, you are losing energy in which to produce strength and increase muscle size. So do remember that if you're in a caloric deficit for an extended period of time, there will be some strength loss. How severe depends on how severe the caloric restriction is and how long you're in the caloric restriction. All right, guys and girls, I hope that was beneficial. Feel free to ask any questions down below and I'll talk to you soon.